Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Taylor, I'm in position. Northeast side of the pearly gates. Excellent, Link. From here, you'll be able to open the piss portal from heaven into hell and let the rest of the team in. There's only one problem, Taylor. There's a biblically accurate angel hovering above. It's waiting for me to pee. Careful, Link. If you start peeing now... I know. I won't be able to stop the stream. And that'll be the end of this mission, because angels will know when your bladder is empty and you're lying to them. Hmm. That might make breaking everyone into heaven and meeting my grandpa Daryl Wilson and getting his memory daddy magic to save the doodler from Willie a little bit more challenging. Link, do you know Dr. Arnold Kegel? Are you referring to the American gynecologist Arnold Henry Kegel, the assistant professor of gynecology at the Keck School of Medicine at USC? Correct. But beyond teaching medical students in Southern California, do you know what he's known for? No, I don't. Three years after Emperor Hirohito surrendered to the Allies at the end of World War II, ending Japan's involvement in the war in the Pacific, Arnold Kegel invented a series of exercises designed to strengthen the muscles in the pelvic floor. He called them Kegels. That does sound useful, but what does that have to do with the mission? Dr. Kegel was studying how pelvic floor exercises could help prevent cystocele, rectocele, and urinary stress incontinence. However, he also found numerous benefits to working out the muscles in your pelvic floor, including an above average ability to regulate urine flow. So you're saying with Kegels, I'll be able to start peeing, but able to continue peeing so I don't have to tell an angel I need to pee, and then I won't be lying. That way I'll be able to operate in heaven without being impeded. Heh, <laughs> exactly, Link. Impeded. <laughs> uh, What's going on, Link? Hmm. Link, is everything all right? Hmm, everything's fine. I'm just doing Kegels now, and it's working. Excellent, Link. We'll see you on the other side. Piss boy out. Uh, oh, you, oh, oh. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. What is is it then? This is a podcast about teenage problems. (laughs) Okay. We just lost half of our viewers. That's the best one yet. (laughs) If you're having teen problems, I feel bad for you, son. (laughs) I got a hundred thousand other podcasts. But a sit ain't one. Am I right? Pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. This is the story of four teens. Who got married and then have to fix all the problems that their grandparents did. What an unfair <laughs> burden on these teens. Mm-hmm. Truly. God the gives his greatest battles to his mightiest teens. <laughs> My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift, the Ranger teen <laughs> of the group, who's maybe respecking once he looks at some help documentation on dndbeyond.com. Something the writers are fighting for right now is there's too much respect work going on uh-huh. in Hollywood. God. Terrible. Okay. This week's teen fact, Taylor knows the Titanic like the back of his fucking hand because Mm -hmm. the Titanic, Mm -hmm. all of its details were detailed in a Pixar animated film that Taylor's a huge fan of. <laughs> okay. It's, it's called, called Boats. It's called <laughs> Pixar's <laughs> Boats. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about the Titanic. Yeah. Well, it's oh, the no. hero boat. Yes, I can. Yes, oh, I so, can. Yes, I oh can. No, I can't. So it'd be about the Carpathia, who was the boat that came and like rescued the people from the Titanic. Wow. But it's like everybody's down the Carpathia. And then finally, the biggest, mightiest boat sinks. And who needs to step up but the Carpathia? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's wow. it. That's it's Pixar's boats. It. Pixar's yeah. boats. Pixar's okay. boats. No, no, but it was like boats. Like I'm just imagining a movie about like little like Titanic Junior, but like being like a classic Disney orphan. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, Titanic Junior's like, like a little towboat. <laughs> and my dad's the Titanic. I can pull my dad. It's like your dad's at the bottom of the ocean. Guess what? Now you have to live with your mean uncle. Oh, the mean uncle's just like a schooner <laughs> with schooner. sail, like from yeah, the age of sail. Beautiful. Anyway. Anyway. Hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Pixar's Arnold. Pixar's quality really dropped off. <laughs> hey, everybody. My name is Matthew Arnold. I play the future soccer star, Lincoln Boss Kicks, schooled in a prison, mm-hmm. mind freed by his friends, and now a paladin to his spouses. Can we get a free your mind <laughs> clip from the Matrix in there just as an audio drop? Free your mind. Yep, right there you go. Can we also get a mind free? <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln M. Kicks, mind freak. <laughs> little little known fact about Lincoln. When he's stuck in his homeschooled prison, one thing he never learned anything about, either the feature film or the historical event, is the Titanic for some reason. I got he literally he knows nothing. He knows nothing about nothing. the Titanic. The only thing he knows about the Titanic is that it is a synonym for large. 
So like that's <laughs> so like he just thinks yeah it's a big so he he's took like, Latin. like Titanic he's like Latin I mean people use the term like that was a Titanic success he's like yeah I get it I thought this was the <laughs> biggest Quiznos sub size <laughs> interesting all. by the way interesting little thing about that Titan right a Titan mm-hmm. Titanic like a Titan mm-hmm. yeah anyway yeah mm. okay is that interesting <laughs> I thought it was really interesting that's pretty basic that's just yeah. saying what the Titanic is <laughs> well yeah word. but like but like instead of, but well like does ick mean like a <laughs> Matt in Latin class must have been That's the original Latin of that Madonna song is Ick, a virgin. (laughs) Ick, a virgin. Uh, Hi, everyone. I'm Will Campos. I play normal Loke, perky, peppy, chipper, cheery, school spirit, mascot kid. Uh, Titanic-themed fact about normal this week is that normal does not know anything about the Titanic either because he can never tell the Titanic and the RMS Lusitania apart. He's like, the Titanic, that was the one that was sunk by U-boats on May 7th, 1915. Right, and it's like, no, that's the Lusitania normal classic normal goof. There you go. So silly. Um, my name is Beth May, and I play Hi, Scary Marlowe, uh. a goth punk seeker of darkness what? who is not like the <laughs> other warlocks. Oh. She doesn't want to care anymore. Aww. Fun fact about Scary this week Yay. is that Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Is unknowingly, no, I think she must know. Wait, I don't know if she knows or not. Let's see. You're no. the god of scary. You I control. really yeah. am. No, she doesn't know. She doesn't know that she's the benefactor of extreme generational wealth. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. That's, that's right. Her step-grandfather, Ron Stampler, went into business with his friend Mm, Beth May on a great object, uh, (laughs) and people bought it. They bought his objects, Mm -hmm. and this object is the unsinkable love float for two. That's right. It's a door-shaped pool float with just enough room for you and your heart of the ocean. There's plenty of room. Nobody has to get in the water. What does it look like? Beth is literally reading the copy. I'm not. I'm staring at Will. (laughs) She's reading the press announcement directly into camera. There's a camera here filming an infomercial. It's shaped like the door from the major motion picture Titanic which is actually based on a bit of side paneling. Um, that's a real sort of object from the Titanic itself. But, you know, James they really Cameron had doors in, on his, the Titanic. Uh, in his infinite wisdom changed it to a door. Great on him. Big fan. <laughs> and so, yeah, Ron went into business with Beth May to make these pool floats, and he made millions and Whoa. millions of dollars. That's how he could afford that. Uh tour to the Titanic. Yeah. Did he fuck over Beth May in the business partnership and she's left penniless? Like, where'd all that money go? No, Beth, Beth is rich really, too? really rich. Beth is rich <laughs> and happy too. <laughs> Wait, so why, yeah. why does the scary know that she should be rich? Is it because Beth's hoarding all the money now that Ron's dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Beth went to Ron and said, like, I'll be your uh, business we gotta, manager. We have to do a fucking one shot where the teens have to spend a night in Beth May's haunted mansion. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Called the Immortal Soul Salvage Yard because there's a bunch of spooky ghosts in there. Wow. I'm a big fan of our NPC, Beth May, having millions of dollars that are rightfully scary that she's hanging on to <laughs> <laughs> after Fuck Ron Sampler died. Beth has created a mansion like the Winchester <laughs> house that's full of these crazy doors to keep ghosts from bothering her. Love it. I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. Hey, hey Papa. Dad. Daddy's sick. If I, sound, if I sound different, it's yeah, it's because I got the oh. Rona. So I'm separate. And uh, one of the not known symptoms of COVID is not being funny. So that's what I'm going to rely <laughs> Damn on it. as my excuse for this episode. Guys, I didn't know it, but I have long COVID since, <laughs> since before the podcast started. Can we all say we have COVID then? Nope. It's just me and Beth. No. That's, that's stolen valor, Matthew. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're sick, Anthony. I am too. I think I got sick doing a charity thing, which uh, is evidence from God that I should never step outside my lane. That's not right, God. Yeah. So when we last left you, you had gone into the memory of Grant and Daryl Wilson as part of your ongoing quest to collect enough daddy magic to send dude, your eldritch friend, back to the dimension from whence they came. The memory that you saw was Grant on his wedding night. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Like, like no. a wedding day. <laughs> talking to Daryl about how he was too scared to be with somebody and that he didn't quite know if he wanted to marry Marco because Marco was too good for him. In that moment, Scam actually appeared and gifted everybody in the scene with a, an all-expense paid trip to the Titanic, on its maiden voyage. The scam actually goes, 
Yes, yes, you're welcome. It's the most famous ship in all the world, in your world anyway, and I thought you would love it, a little early honeymoon. Wait, what are you four doing here? And he looks ah! and sees. What? When you look at each other, the teens, you oh. see yourselves dressed like old-timey, like, 1910s teens. Oh, I've got 1910s. no drip. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I should go to the hospital. Oh, my God. I think I'm pulling off this newsboy cap. What do you guys think? <laughs> Actually, yeah, it looks pretty good. Actually, no, pretty good. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I guess. Oh, wow. What's dude, wow. What's dude dressed oh, as? Dude is dressed in a very tasteful newsboy outfit, or news baby outfit, that covers up all the curves, <laughs> but leaves a lot to the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> the dream. I'm looking oh, at pictures of 1910s teenage fashion. And uh, it's just 1940s old man fashion. It's just straight, no, no, straight up. It looks like three ad men, but they're supposedly teenagers. So I guess that's what we look like. I and think I, Link looks straight up like he's been like shoveling coal into the ship. Like, oh, he's already got you dirt think he's on wearing a black shirt, but he's actually shirtless, but just covered in soot. Uh, he's just got torn up pants. And he's just sweating. And his like uh, now, his hair is like singed. Now, he's like, oh, God. Uh, uh, One last detail, though, because Taylor mm -hmm. coming a little bit from the Asian. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, he does not look the way you think that he looks. <laughs> no. Whatever I'm you're imagining, looking, it's not that. I'm just looking at some photos no, from the period. Do whatever he wants of the period. And let's just say there's some sleeves. <laughs> and, so, so, and an interesting look, hairdo. Yeah, to paint us a picture. Yeah, how does Taylor look? I think Taylor looks like straight up, if you don't mind me saying, <laughs> a Chinaman oh, no. of the period, as they say. According to Getty Images, this is a typical look. Freddie, I don't know what would be more offensive, me supporting you in this or me saying <laughs> yeah, you can't do yeah. this. So I'm just going to stay quiet. Guys, Chinese people existed at the turn of the century. There's I'll nothing you, offensive I'll about tell you it. what, though. I don't think any of them were on the Titanic. No, but I know so. what picture. It's not I know offensive. What it it's offensive that you find it funny, oh, Matt. God, That's no, what it is. I did not. Hold on. Let me just check if there are any Chinese people on the Titanic. Freddie, grant us white people forgiveness. Six! For <laughs> Literally, there were six Chinese Chinese people on Titanic. And to be fair, the pictures of them, they are in some dapper suits. So you know okay, Taylor yeah. is in a dapper suit as the seventh of the six people <laughs> who are on the Titanic. Wow, I didn't know this. Well, uh, uh, okay, um, Mr. Uh, Likely, so like, wait, is this the memory? What happened? Why are, how are we here? Like, we can't be here. So Grant grabs Scam actually by his multicolored collar and he goes, what did you do? Why are we, what, where are we? And Scam goes, it's a honeymoon present, the Titanic. It's the most famous human ship. I thought you'd love it. The Titanic is famous for a reason. Where's Marco? I don't know, he's on here somewhere. I guess you should find him. Do you need me to take you back? Yes, of course I need you to take me back. Okay, well, I guess if you can find something old, something new, something borrowed and something blue, then I can use those to bring you back to your own time. Off you go. And Grant goes, where the fuck? Marco, Marco. And he starts running. Uh, Grant, uh, dad. Grant looks back with confusion in his eyes at the child saying, dad. And Scam goes, oh, no, 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 no. So you all are from the future, I'm assuming? You were looking at his memory or something? Uh, yeah. yeah. What? We're kind yeah, of from the present. Here. I mean, yeah, we're from the present. But you know us. You've yeah. met us. Well, not yet. Time doesn't quite work that way for me. So here's the thing. Oh. You can't create a paradox. This is just a memory of somebody to you, so you can't go and change anything too crazily. Oh, okay, so like, we're fine. Like, we're not really here. Like, yeah. we're, not, yeah, we're not here, right? We're like, no, we're still you're here for them. sure. You're here for realsies, oh, and you'll what? drown if you don't get off the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? But he looks at Daryl and he goes, I mean, you're feeling good though, right? Yeah, well, okay, well, Scam, hey, bud, um, this is kind of coming back to me. Um, I don't think I was here. Like, can't you bring us back? Like, I would really appreciate my grandkid not dying on the Titanic before I even met. Yeah, buddy, I'll make a deal with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you tell Don't him, worry, Ron. kiddos, I got this covered. As Daryl and Ron say this, they begin to fade away, and you hear oh. an angelic voice <laughs> go... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Which you interpret as they found out that you're trying to leave heaven by jumping into a memory oh, and you're oh. being pulled back. I yell back to I'm like, hey, we didn't do it on purpose. We're coming back. So just calm down. Oh, I put sorry. my name on the out list and then I'll put it on the in list when I'm back in. <laughs> Ron, I think you got played cool because you already got in trouble for actually escaping last time. I'm just such a bad boy. You are. I mean, you you can't be that bad. You made it up Mr. there. Mr. Ron, if they let bad boys in heaven, I guess there still is hope for a guy like me. <laughs> Absolutely not, kiddo. <laughs> okay. Um, well, and with that, uh, Ron fades away. Uh, oh, oh, no, Ron! Grin, just, uh, oh, wait. Uh, you should just um, get just on a lifeboat. Hold your breath a really long what? time. What? Oh, no, I don't want to tell you anything. I watched that primer. Like, ignore everything I said. I shouldn't change the timeline. Just Darryl maybe you're supposed well. to die. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Daryl is. No, Darryl I think Daryl said it was maybe you're supposed to die. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, God. Okay. So we're here? So we're on the Titanic. And we can die. Which means any minute now, U-boats are going to show up and torpedo the ship. <laughs> no. no. Norm, that's not how it works. We run into an iceberg, okay. and then it's like... It Scary, the you're su- thinking ice. of the Lusitania. That's yeah, absolutely- the iceberg, you hear in the distance a voice cry out, Iceberg, right ahead! And then there's oh a rumble. God. There's a rumble beneath your feet as the ship bounces up against something. And it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. It just feels like you know, there's a little rock under your feet. That's and, like uh, shutter. That's not a big deal. I'm sure they bumped into stuff on the Lusitania before the U-boat. We gotta get out of here, though. No, wait. We can't. Stop. Don't move. Don't touch anything. Don't step on any butterflies. Don't do anything. Why? Like, what, what's this, hap- this is a memory, right? Yeah. But Grant, my dads, they made it. Okay. I think, I think we just have to accept we're supposed to die here. What? <laughs> Well, we, if we do anything, we might stop. Like, right? Like, we can't do anything. Because if we do something, they might change what happened. And Grant and Marco, they did make it. No, 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 but no, no, Link, man. what if they made it because of stuff that we oh, did? Oh, God, yeah. that's the part. <laughs> How do we know what happened? What is death but the ending of consciousness? So if we die in these bodies, our consciousness might end. Oh, that, God. Yeah, that's, I think that's what that's death is, scary. But, well, hold on. You're, like, super goth, though, right? And, like, you oh, should yeah. kind of, like, is this the first time you've realized that death means that, like, you die? I mean, it'd be super metal if we did, but I'm just saying that, like, it doesn't have to be, like, the end of everything, you know? It would actually be more metal if, like, we continued living but Whoa. wanting death. Well, but listen up, folks. do it. Okay. Listen up, folks. Well, you happen I... to be in the employ of one of the greatest Titanic trivia historians this world has ever seen. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. Wait, Scam Luckily said something about Grant's going to go... Mr. Mr. Wilson is going to go get a bunch of like something new, something borrowed, something blue or whatever. So like, I guess you're right. We don't know if we did help in the past or whatnot. I guess the best thing we can do is do our best to make sure that my dad stay alive. Okay. So how many people died? Wait, Mm-hmm. You guys seem to know what you're talking about, like Correct. this boat. Yeah, like 1,700 people died on this 1,496 boat. Like, wait, people Like, you guys died. just know about, like, wait. their engagement wedding or whatever. No, no. Why would we know about your well, I don't know engagement why, I mean, why wedding? Why do you know about this boat? I because... assume, like, my dad must have told you about it or something. Oh, no. T- oh, dude. Okay. Wait, what? you've never seen Titanic? I mean, I've seen things that are Titanic. <laughs> God. No, okay. I mean, like, Let the me paint story a picture of for timeless you. love. Oh, I mean, yeah, go ahead if you're going to do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Next to the Joker, the ultimate story of timeless love. That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. Okay, so. Yeah, Titanic's frequently ta- on the top ten list of all movies of all time right next to the Joker. Here's what you need to know. The Titanic was an ocean liner that was launched by the Cunard Line in 1906 okay. and held <laughs> the Blue Ribbon appellation for the fastest Atlantic crossing in no. 1908. No, that's the Lusitania. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I got oh, this God. right. Link, There's a Royal <laughs> Navy blockade going Link, on. It's Link. the evil World War Link, I. What? Don't listen to what? these Taylor, nerds. Here's me. what you need to okay, know. Okay, the like World War One. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to these nerds. Here's what you need to know. And then Taylor raises his voice so everyone hears. 67% of everyone will be dead <laughs> in just a few hours. Okay, but what you really need to know is like the hottest girl ever meets the hottest boy ever. Okay. And she's in first class. And he is right here. Right oh. here. Oh, I, 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 n- no, no, not Wait, you. Wait, does, does Hermie look exactly like Jack Dawson? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's got like a sketchbook and everything, dude. <laughs> yeah. And scary, yeah, scary to just like stops talking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, scary. Okay, so scam. Oh, this Look, this feels like scam. So that my dads are on a boat that sinks in the past is what you're saying. Yes. Yes, because my shitty dad is a stupid idiot. And we're on that boat too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Hermie, what's up with your dad? He sucks is what's up with him. That's why I, I wanted agree. to kill he him. Sucks. And you guys narked on me and decided not to kill him. Oh, that's true. Well, that's, I kind of I'm kind of regretting fault. that choice right now. Hey, Thank Hermie, you. I just want to say your anger at your dad is valid. And I'm sorry that I was like, don't kill your dad because now it seems like we're all going to die. But you guys know what happened. So let's just go talk let's just go talk to the captain right simple all we have to do is go find the captain and get him a notice about the u-boats that are coming to sink the ship right no i mean okay no so the (laughs) the captain already saw all these iceberg warnings right but he's like nah i want to set a record oh that's right we're on the lusitania okay i got it i'm up to speed no no all right so no we need an audience with the captain yeah yeah let's go tell them to like not sink It feels like the sooner he knows, that's bad. But remember, we can't alter the timeline. We can't alter history. You just said that we could, though, because I suggested we do nothing, and you said we can't do that. So let's go. What about this? Hear me out. What if we just go follow your dad from a safe distance? Okay. He's going to go do the stuff, and if there's, it seems like he's not going to be able to do any of the things, then we step in discreetly to do the thing, and we can't save all the. We can't save the other people. They're gone. Oh yeah, man. The bulkhead doors only go up to E deck, man. Oh God. 
Okay. The water spills there's over. There's really like there's no like like you sure like you guys know your history because you seem conflicted the two of you Taylor. Now, now I that need I to be know clear. we're on the Lusitania, not the Titanic, it's okay. all clear to me. The Lusitania okay. hit an iceberg and it's all good to go. God. So we're all on the same page. So it's we're fine. Okay, we won't save them now. Wink. But for now, let's follow my dad. <gasps> okay. Maybe we should tell people that it's sinking, though, right, as we go, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay. Hey, everyone in here, just to be clear, <laughs> you're going to want Who's in this room, be... Anthony? Who's in the room with us? You're on the deck, so it's a bunch of people out <laughs> enjoying the sea air. It's cold as it's shit cold. out here. Oh, there's two fucking guys playing soccer with the chunk of the ice. I was literally yeah. about to say the nice. soccer thing was going to happen. <laughs> Lake starts running. After his then he dad, sees a soccer and he's game like, going he's on. like, the boat's sinking, the boat's sinking, or not, whatever you think I said back then, it happened. Just go near the lifeboats. Whoa! And then I see the ice, and I fucking like do a cool, like I try to do like a rainbow with it, like I want to join the game. As you head towards the two deckhands playing soccer with a big chunk of ice, uh, you see that one of them has in his hand what looks to be a bottle of some very old aged whiskey, and it seems to be glowing a light purple color. <gasps> bro, the ship's sinking and you deckhands are playing soccer with And whiskey? drinking on That's the job. That's wild, bro. But this is pre-OSHA. I can't do an Irish pre-OSHA. accent, but imagine this is a non-offensive <laughs> Irish accent that I'm speaking in. Actually, in Ireland, it's O'Shea. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with yeah, my 18 well. athletics, I kick the ice up and I hold it on my foot. I say, I don't play. I play hard. I play. I play. Yeah, I won't play. I won't play soccer. Faith and Bakari really lost that sentence, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do an arcana roll on this glow because I'm just like purple is like, you know, it's a thing. We're, with us. We're, the purple vibes are purple in this show. So I'm going to go ahead and roll arcana. I'm going to roll purpleness. I got a nine. You're so purple coated. So, so purple I'm so purple pilled, right pilled now, bro, dude. dude. Yeah. yeah You're maroon bro. pilled and purple coated. And nice. with a nine, you can tell that there is some magic associated with this particular bottle that he is holding the bottle's hey. like this is the skin of a killer bella sorry <laughs> that's wow. actually you know what, what i think that, that people will I listen okay that. wait don't don't <laughs> cut Twilight. it from the episode i think that people will enjoy it so there i'm just gonna leave it at that C- can we enjoy it can you tell us can what it know? was do you know how many fucking stupid <laughs> gamer references beth has to put up with on this show <laughs> we cannot understand something beth said for once okay it's fine i'll google it I want to know. No, then we can have the experience of having a bunch of people explain it to us online <laughs> afterwards. Ooh, I think enough. that sounds great. Anybody um, else want to roll Arcana? I will. If we were dogs, you'd be rolling Barkana. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's an 11. <laughs> All right. With an 11. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Frederick. With an 11. Pray, roll Arcana to save us. Pray, you no. get disadvantage on your next <laughs> no, roll for that joke. Don't ask- worry. I know exactly where we are. That's an 18 plus 220. <laughs> Freddie's like, do you know that if a cat was a doctor, it would practice meowdison? <laughs> And then expects us to be like, ha, 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 ha. No, I don't expect anything from anybody at this point. It's just that we weren't talking about dogs. That's what made it so uh, out of so, so with an 18, you can tell that this is the something old in the spell ah. that the scam likely requires to send everyone back. Well, now, is by it the everyone, bottle I mean you or is and Grant and Marco. Is it the bottle or is it the booze? It is the... Interesting. <laughs> it is the booze. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, let me just carry And they're drinking it? Hey, stop drinking! Oh, wait. Guys, oh, oh, it's the 1910s. That. I don't think you're going to have much luck with that, my friend. Oh, I'm so cold. If only I had a little hot drink to warm me up. All right, roll persuasion. Okay. Try and look as consumptive as possible, Beth. <laughs> okay, so that's a 13 plus 5, which is 18. And I say, oh, normally daddy won't let me have a drink, <laughs> but he said if I was a good Scary. girl and my fever was down, <gasps> I'd be able to have a little <laughs> sip because it's so cold outside. <laughs> Scary, where did wow, that come we're... from? Scary, holy cow. You're a thespian. Hermie is taken aback at your acting skills. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, I... I, I took, like, you know, beginner drama class. <laughs> oh, wow. What the f- fuck is going on? <laughs> the deckhand says, ah, oh, this will bring a bit of uh, color back to your cheeks, won't it? And gives you a sip of <laughs> the, and the whole I hold thing. it in my mouth. I don't swallow it. For okay. the rest of the show. <laughs> okay. Um, I look for a, a cup or something. Beth has taken a sip of liquid death and is currently it. holding it in her mouth. Inside, there's the saloon deck. The whole deck? 
damn, these motherfuckers partied. Yeah. D deck was the saloon deck on the real Titanic. I'm not making that up. Whoa. And yes, there are many glasses and, and things. Porter's is like, excuse me, I believe the children are meant to be on the lower decks. Uh, you must be lost. Oh, oh we, yeah, we, we are. We, we just need, need a cop, glass. sir. Yeah, we, we need, need a, a cop glass. for our friend. Her tooth and is broken not and the she needs to of, spit her tooth into something. And certainly not the child of the Chinese ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> And Roll. I stare the guy down. <laughs> Roll deception. <sighs> Three plus five, eight. It's a shame you didn't roll better because I could have done some really fun racist stuff. <laughs> China has no ambassador to the Titanic. Surely to not. The Titanic. <laughs> to the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, we do. We want to see how good the boats are. Your people are working on trains, not the Titanic. You stay in your lane and I'll stay in mine. <laughs> sir, sir, uh, he's not. Um, uh, they said uh, the train Titanic look, could never look, be derailed. Look, my, my friend here, she's going to throw up. So either she can throw up here on the nice carpet or just give us some sort of bucket or, or not or, the or, carpet yeah just give us <laughs> <laughs> just give us something for her to throw up in roll persuasion with advantage that's good right they don't want to throw up well i mean it feels like the most logical thing they would do would be like okay then vomit over the side that's what everybody else does no <laughs> <laughs> okay i had to swallow it yeah that's so exhausting 12. to hold liquid in your 12. mouth for that long with a 12 he just puts his arms out and tries to usher you back right, i'm gonna try and slide i'm gonna try and slide of hand i'm gonna try and slide of hand off of like a lady with a big hat I want to steal the glass, <laughs> steal glass. Okay, from, steal her, glass. from her table. Okay. But, Matt, okay. she needs to be a lady with a big hat so that I can, like, <laughs> doof the hat and cause a bit of a kerfluffle to cover my sleight mm-hmm. of hand. We shifty orientals know <laughs> how to get things done. Don't make me laugh at that word. Yeah, right. Will, Four plus Will one and Matt five. laughed, so... Uh, Four so plus you, one, five. <laughs> you shove this woman... <laughs> And she spills her drink all over her chest. And she gets up. She goes, how dare you? And she takes out her clutch. Like the lady from Rocco's Modern Life? Yes, exactly. (laughs) She takes out her clutch and she smacks you across the face with it. And she goes, get these children back under decks. What are they doing up here where people of means can see them? Anthony, I also did a slight hand roll and I got a 16. While she's saying all that, you do something. What did you want to do? So I wanted to do one of those moves where the waiter is walking around with like all the champagne flutes. And then like as he's looking, I just kind of like casually like James Bond just like grab grab a champagne flute and just chug the whole thing down. And then I just kind of like twirl it in my hand and like I hand it over to Scary and I'm like, if you're going to spew, spew into this. Okay, so this is also presumably the first alcohol normals ever had? I had Henry's hard booch, but it has been a while. Okay. Should I make a constitution roll or something yeah, like that? Yeah, give me a constitution roll, see if we're drunk. I got a 13. Okay, so you're not drunk. You okay. handle your liquor like a champ. Wow. And you're fucking partying, baby. You're buzzed as hell, dog. <laughs> Scary spits out the whiskey into the, or brandy rather, into the into glass. The, the glass. Okay. Okay, we got to hold on to this. Great. That's one down. Okay, well. We need to Grant, cover it. Grant was even close to that. So like. Yeah, gotta, those guys were going to drink all of that for sure by the time he got up yeah, there. We got to find. Your we, dad needs to get his act together. I know. Well, he must. But he did he's make about it. to let a catch like Marco slip through his fingers. No, Like seriously. He's Your the, dad's so husband Wait a second. Killed. <laughs> Link. Yeah. Do you realize what this means? What? If we had to intervene to do this, what if your dad calls it off with Marco tonight? What if this is too much? Then you'll start fading out of existence. What if uh, you don't exist yeah, anymore? Yeah, the memory he was expressing doubts. I don't know. Marco's got some game. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my dad can mack on my other dad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that once Grant goes to, oh God, I don't know. I'm looking around. Like, you am I changing? You hard cut to the deck with all the cars in it, and there's just a hand slamming against no! it. <laughs> 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 Link's like, I feel it in my bones that we're still together. <laughs> Things are going. Uh, their okay. love, their love is strong. I feel like they'll be okay. But we should find them because, like, when they, we do need to make sure they get off the Titanic and everybody else, every other person on this boat. For sure, for sure, oh, for, yeah. sure, wait, for, wait, sure wait, for sure, for sure. As they're throwing me out of the rich people deck because they didn't believe me, I go, "Good thing this ship is unsinkable. No <laughs> need to get into any lifeboats. Oh, it's all ignore the lifeboat announcements. Shoot, it Don't makes me go. feel." That makes me feel bad, but that Maybe is... Maybe I even sabotage them. You never know. <laughs> Everybody is terrified except for unsinkable Molly Brown. who's like, I don't trust those Orientals. I think, oh, my God. I think I'm going to make sure I get on a lifeboat as soon as I can. So it's like, just so I understand, because I didn't know the history. Like, there was enough lifeboats, and, like, everybody's allowed on. Uh, oh, boy. No. That's not... What's wrong with the sentences only. I said? Scary. Well, again, the lifeboats really don't come into play, because Shut after up! the torpedo hits... <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm sorry. We're on the Lusitania. Listen. Scary, we can double team this. Not only uh, were there not enough lifeboats. Not enough by half. Oh, oh God. <laughs> they didn't even load them up efficiently. Okay. Yeah. But they left loving dads on first, right? Oh, no, that's not, that's not what they did. They didn't even get on. No dads what? allowed. 
They straight up had the no Who dads. deserves to go on more than dads? <laughs> <laughs> Who do they put on first then? Well, kids. Okay, but you're not a kid if you don't have a dad. Okay. What? So, I mean, as in, like, how could there be kids without dads? So dads should go first, and then the kids can come on afterwards and be like, thanks, dad, for letting me on. That's Listen, not how it worked back then. That's then just who? history. I'm not saying I agree okay. with it. I'm just saying that that's what happened. And then who else? Women and children. Went okay, I mean, women boats. are just like dads, but women. So that's good. That makes sense. But kids should be last, is my point. No, you think, that's you think children should be the we last handle ones? Ourselves. <laughs> Speaking of handling ourselves, there's three okay. more things okay. to do. Okay, okay. okay. So, so I, I got to let them on. So Scary it's grabs scary. a life vest off the wall or whatever and uses it to like cover the glass and like protect the glass. Ooh, that's Ooh, a good idea. Nice. Yeah, we're okay. going to have to make sure we don't, we got to make sure we don't spill, spill this thing. Yeah, I just okay. want to make it like as spill proof as possible. Let's follow. How are you going to find Grant? Where would. So where you would see Grant on the wall of the deck, you see a diagram of the ship. There are many decks on the ship. There is the promenade deck, which is only for first class passengers, which has a lounge, a smoke room, and a reading room. The bridge deck beneath that, where the people go to sleep. The C deck is the shelter deck for crew cabins. The D deck, mm -hmm. where you're on now, is the saloon deck. I run to the first porter and I say, Sir, excuse me, I've lost my dads. Where would two men who love each other greatly <laughs> and are on a honeymoon together, what <laughs> part of the boat? G deck, absolutely. What, no part, question. what part of the boat would they be on? They'd be in G deck for sure. Uh, okay, great. Thanks. Hey, hey thanks. Okay, guys, I think, I think my dad's are on D-deck. I tip the guy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> With what? Uh, so here you go. <laughs> what is this? It's a piece of gum. It's, uh, yeah, here's a tip. Gum's delicious. And then we run off. And then as we run off, I say, make sure to tell all the other porters Dude, that- but fucking, that thing's probably got, like, spearmint crystals, the likes of which his 1900s brain has never used. Dude, if you gave someone there. five gum in the Titanic, <laughs> <Damn. laughs> Do you imagine if you hit them with a fucking juicy fruit? I'm actually shocked that there's not a five gum commercial with the Titanic hitting the iceberg. It's like what it's like to chew five gum. <laughs> the yeah. inside of your mouth is 98 degrees, <laughs> but the Titanic is much, much cooler. Does anyone remember that ad? Yeah, Winter it, fresh gum? He yes. cuts to the porter like 30 seconds later after he's chewing. He goes like, oh, it's no more flavor, huh? Mm -hmm. My life has changed. Aw. <laughs> so you head down to G deck and you see your father's dressing themselves <laughs> next to a steamy car. Next and to there's a, steamy a squash. sketch <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> Yes, there's an incredible oh. sketch. Oh, that, there's uh, squash we, down here. Marco is oh. folding up and putting into his. Hey, sirs. Uh, hi, we're, kid. Hi, uh, we're uh, just. Uh, uh, this we were just. We'd lost a dog. We're we're looking for our dog. Mm -hmm, yes, Marco mm -hmm. says a dog. We are looking for our dog. Oh. Marco, 1910s. you never could lie. I mean, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sirs, <laughs> uh, we just been we informed. Be here, like <laughs> the boat's sinking. I'm sorry, the boat's sinking. Just go. go. Yeah, I've been sent by my father, the ambassador to China. <laughs> Here to tell everyone, uh, for your own safety, please make your way to the lifeboats now. That's right. You can't and disagree put, with the ambassador of China. No, he no, says, the son, the son, the son of the ambassador. But well, you were of China. just passing the word on because you're a good son. Along. You're a good son and a citizen of the world, indeed. Okay. So you two just go up and get, get on a yeah, boat. I know. I know it's sinking. I just didn't have a lot of hope for us to get out of this alive. Frankly, wow, that what? is so metal. Yeah. Oh no, that's sad. What do you I mean? mean Why? Yeah, just, yeah, just go up. Marco's like, just yeah, say you're good. Go up. Wait, we're on the Titanic, and you stopped to do that. And Grant goes, "I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm feeling so many feelings, and it's, it's we're about to get married, and there's a Titanic, and it's, I, I, I feel like I fucked up." And, and Marco goes, "Stop, stop, 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 kids. Make sure you get yourself to light boats as quick as you can. We will be right behind you." Thank you so much for telling us that we are on the Titanic, he says, giving a, a distinct eye to Grant. <laughs> uh oh, dad's in trouble. This is, the, <laughs> this is the rowdiest thing we've ever heard about Grant, is that he was like, I'm not, let's go first. And then I'll be like, by the way. Now that I'm in my refractory Grant period. probably, look, I get my dad, he's probably so bummed out that he was like, oh, I, I don't deserve to take the spot of somebody else who was supposed to live. Like, I get it. I would feel that way maybe if I felt bad about myself. So like, yeah, just lay off him. He's just feeling bad. So you're saying your dad feels bad about himself? Yeah. Oh. So he doesn't. He thinks he should die on the Titanic, which I guess he does or doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what the what's supposed Wait, to happen. Wait, you don't care? No, of course I care. What do you mean? I just said I don't know what happens. But as I get you why say, he was as sad. you say, of course I care. We do the Back to the Future thing where the blue screened hand is in front of your face and it begins to like fade away a little bit. Oh, uh -oh. I mean, um, oh, I poke God. his hand. Does it go through? Yes. Oh, oh God, oh, that's not good. What okay, happened? You, you both definitely have to get to the lifeboats, and we gotta find. Um, hey, Gr we're, Grant says we're yes, strangers. Marco. You have to get to the lifeboat. Marco goes, no, you're coming too. You don't get to make this decision for me. You're wondering why us four teens are down here, and we're down here to make sure that couples like you don't. We got. Whoa, you're cool with this? 
Well, populations, yeah, like, you know. the world only works if we have wonderful couples like you two. So we're just making sure that couples stay together when they go on the lifeboat. So it's either both of you or none of you. You hear me? Yeah. And, and I put my stern voice on. Think of it as, like, future generations depend on it, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Grant, I believe your name was. If Marco's going to go on the lifeboat, you have to, too. That's the rules. That's what the captain said. <laughs> Roll persuasion or deception. <laughs> Because we do have a policy here at the Titanic with the fully loaded nachos. <laughs> okay, I got a 11. Kid, who are you? What is your problem? I told Says you. Grant. He's the ambassador to China, and yeah. I'm the captain. No, 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 right no. no. Man. You're way too cool with queer people for this time period. What's going on? Uh, 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 we can't alter anything. I we're say, and I run away. Come on, oh, go, 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 we're, go, go. we're not cool. I want both of you off the boat. You both make me sick. <laughs> 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 I want you two oh, off the no! boat. You two no, no. off the boat right now. You hear me? Because I'm all the time you like that. I'm just dragging Lincoln away, just trying to Dad, desperately. I don't want you to die. Shut the fuck up, Lincoln! Get the hell Oh no! As you shout, Dad, I don't want you to die. That is drowned out by the sound of water bursting in through one of the pools. Oh no. It begins to cool around your feet as it rushes in from the sides and you see Grant and Marco run out of the storage area and start running up towards the, the okay. top of the boat. Okay, the the okay they're running Come fast. on, kids, come good. on. We gotta go. Uh, we, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> we have just lead us I down on all... I have more people to inform. Don't uh, we, worry about it. Run, you get to run, the boats. We run up another set of stairs. Yeah. Right? Or I do. I we're don't know looking, what yeah, I think we want to run and look for those purple yeah, things, so right? Yeah, so as yes. we're running, I turn everyone's like, okay, look, we cannot trust those two himbos to figure this out okay. on their own. We need to collect as many of these things as we can. Yes. They're not gonna get onto a lifeboat. We gotta get the spell figured out so Scam Likely can get us all out of here. Yeah, we gotta get out too. So, okay. Well, they're running. They're running right up there. So that's good. That's good. That's okay, good. Maybe we'll, we'll find something. But yeah. okay. So what was it? Something old, right? We got, we, we got, got the, the something old. Yeah. Check out. Wait, whiskey check. Okay. I check for the whiskey. <laughs> You're fine. I'm okay. fine. Okay. okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Good, good. Okay. Wait, so that's one. So the E deck. We'll go to the E deck. What else do we need? What were the other something things? Something new, something borrowed, something, something blue. Something blue. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of random. I don't know what that's all well, about, but like, okay. We just got to run as fast as we Freezing can. Freezing water buffets you as you run up and down the decks. Ooh, okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Which deck would you like to go to? The saloon deck, the shelter deck, the bridge deck, the middle deck with the swimming pool? I think we go bottom up, right, as it's sinking. Yeah, that's Yeah, fair. so you were on the G deck. <laughs> so we're just running. So yeah, we're just running as quickly as possible. All right, so you Let's run up to, to F deck. You see there is a Fuck swimming it. pool with a bunch of people just hurrying to try to get out of the swimming pool as the water begins to... Ah, I get it. You're practicing. Uh, there's also a Turkish bass. You see a bunch of dudes with just <laughs> towels around their waist running. Uh, you see kennels with dogs barking uh, locked inside <gasps> their cages. Oh, I want mm -hmm. to open up the kennels. Yeah, I go open up the kennels. Okay, the dogs <laughs> get out. And I say, shoot, that's not going to help. Maybe we should shoot them all in the back of the head. Oh, what? My oh God, I don't know. This is dark thoughts. But they're going to drown, right? Okay, I mean, well, they're... let's just put little life vests on them. Oh, they're going to freeze. I can't look at them anymore. This is the saddest thing that's ever happened. Go back in the kettle, little buddies. No. Go to sleep. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Let them figure it out There's for themselves. No give them a shot. Just give them a shot. <laughs> give them a fighting chance, Link. <laughs> okay, I want right. to try to make Good luck, little buddies. I start quick. hugging the dogs one by one. But really quick, as I open up the doors, I want to try and make a psychic connection with the dog. <laughs> okay. Excuse you have to speak me? with animals? Trust me, we're going to need this later, all right? Trust oh. me, dude. You're going to send them all to look for purple things? <gasps> Ooh. Do I have speak with animals? No, absolutely not. <laughs> You're a ranger without speak with no, animals? I thought that was like a ranger thing. Seems like thing. something remotely useful, so fucking of course a ranger doesn't have it. Hold on, let me just manage my spells and note that I have an extra spell slot. Guess what? Who has speak with animals now? Oh, okay, you do get it. Okay. Canines, who amongst you wishes to create a psychic bond with me, the son of the ambassador to China? <laughs> they all cock their heads. like All of you. I deputize all of you to be Taylor's dogs. Dude comes up and starts petting them and goes, good, they're good dogs. These are good dogs. They, they are, are good dogs, They dude. are very good. Be near so that if I need you, you may come. But also, try and survive. Do your we, best. Taylor, ask the dogs if they can find this purple stuff oh, for us. and keep an eye out for purple glowing. <laughs> can they see the color purple? Mm, dogs are colorblind. They can see glowing. Yeah, they, they can see, like, see. light. Yeah, they can see glow, yeah. Oh, Bring me oh. glowing objects. Purple, ideally. But... Blue glowing objects. Yeah. Like this color. Oh, oh, hold on. Show them the... the uh, we show, show the dogs the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, somebody roll animal handling. I like, will roll animal yeah, handling. Taylor says. Yeah, you should do My it. My boys. Four plus zero, four. <laughs> they jump out the window in, into the freezing water. <laughs> well, oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, God, you hear what they're saying as they jump out the window, dude, because you can speak with them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are they saying, Anthony? The moon is glowing. I'm going to get the moon. <laughs> Oh no! 
Oh, that's really awful. Dude, one of the weird things about being a human is that everybody's going to feel worse about these animals dying <laughs> than the 1,600 people, human beings, human beings that actually died. These Dude fucking 20 weeping. dogs. Dude is Everybody already, listening like, to this podcast crying. is going to be more sad. <laughs> um, so, oh, okay. This can't... <laughs> The, the dogs. I know, I know. I feel the way too. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm saying it's, I feel that way too. I feel worse about these dogs. Link thinks for me. He's like, this can't be happening. I, I know my dad's live and I'm here. So, and I start getting a divine sense and I'm going to cast divine sense, which let me know if you think this is relevant, which is as an action, you can detect good and evil, but also until the end of the turn, you can sense anything affected by a hollow spell, Great. the known location of Ooh. celestial fiend undead. Ooh. I don't know. It feels like I should just be able to sense Yep. Within 60 feet or something. That makes a lot of sense. You can tell that on the E deck above you, something soon to be borrowed awaits you. <gasps> e deck, let's go. I, I sent something. <gasps> okay. I hope it's wow, not my dad's having than... sex again. <laughs> 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 you guys, you guys know that's is what they that were doing. That's what they were doing. That's what they were doing. Which I is thought cool. they just were like, they wanted to see a cool car. Yeah. No. Well, they are classic car enthusiasts, though, right? Yeah, no, they always said that, you know, however I want to express my sexuality is fine, and, like, you can have sex before after marriage, however you want to wait. And they told me they had sex before marriage. I didn't realize it was, like, right before <laughs> on marriage. The on the Titanic. But, yeah, that's definitely what they were doing. I'm sure this was the first time they've had sex, though. You're probably oh, right. <laughs> yeah, could be. It's a pretty cool place to have. <laughs> so you head to the mail room of the Titanic, oh. and you see Grant and Marco arguing with the male person there and behind the male person. They're basically locked inside of a room with a little uh, window with iron bars bisecting it. And behind them is a package that seems to be glowing purple. And Marco's like, we just need the package for some reason, I guess. And Grant's like, yes, no, please. That's mine. It's for me. It's my, it's me. I'm what's, what does it say on it? And the guy's like, no, <laughs> get it. Go, go back to your rooms. Taylor struts up with all the confidence. I do believe, sir, you have uh, correspondence for me. The son of the ambassador to China. All right, roll deception. <laughs> I swear to God, the amount of times I've tried this fucking gamut. Four plus five, nine. God damn it! Oh my gosh. Uh, they go, no, I, it doesn't look like we have anything. Scary, for... Hermie, guys, use your acting stuff. You're really okay. good at acting. Yeah. Why don't the two of you like just get, you know? Okay, okay. As much as it pains me to admit it, you guys have great chemistry together. Uh, Hermie leans up against the wall and he goes, I know. <laughs> yeah, male right, room. When's there going to be a female room, huh? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Well, for equal Burn rights in down. 1912, let's see how that plays out for them. Leek starts snapping his fingers like he just heard something cool. <laughs> That's why you tell him, Gary. Yeah, I wonder if that guy I was seeing finally sent me that object that I <laughs> was going to borrow. Oh, yes, madam. He's always sending you objects as a way of showing how much he loves you because you're so high class and regal. <laughs> I know, Jack. I mean, Hermie. <laughs> Hermie looks to the side and he's like, if only she knew that me, a lowly valet, would actually be the one who holds her in my heart so deeply that she never can, for it would be too inappropriate for <laughs> Scary looks dynamic. to the side. If only he knew I didn't really want objects. <laughs> Ah, oh, this looks like it might be the right place. Hello, male. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know my name? <laughs> Can I have that package, please? Roll I believe persuasion. it's addressed to me. Oh, no. Okay, so that's uh, 10. I'm afraid you're going to have to show me some evidence that the package is yours, my lady. Well, let me just look at it really quick. What's that sound also? The uh, boat's sinking, sir. No, this ship's unsinkable. Yeah, well, it turns out... You can't really believe the things that you thought that you could. You can find Holy shit. new new <laughs> <laughs> Um I try to I try to I try to sneak a I try to sneak a look at the package. Okay. Go ahead and roll Holy perception. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Nine wow, plus you should start a podcast. One, you can really get people to wake ten. up. Okay, so with the 10, you can see it actually is for the son of the ambassador from China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I find myself growing faint. If only there was a strong family lineage to keep me afloat. You, sir, you're an ambassador, <laughs> aren't you? I am. Keep distracting him. Oh. <laughs> Distract um, me from what? <laughs> from this! <laughs> distract me. Well, um. <laughs> Gary, just distract him. I have a spelling cast. Just cast the spell! Cast the spell, dude. Okay, so I th do believe this ship may sink. And then I pull out a bullet and I'm putting it on a desk and it's rolling down as the ship is tilting to the side. And I'm like, 
Ah, uh, yes. And then I punch Hermie, and I'm like, you weren't the man I thought you were. <laughs> no. Does this performance work? Because I'm going to cast Misty Step, which allows me to teleport Ooh. 30 feet to an unoccupied space. So I'm just going to teleport in there and grab it. Great. That works perfectly. He's too busy being swept up in the drama of these two <laughs> will they, won't they's. To, uh... I gra- so I teleport in, which is, I think it's just like, I just slip on in quietly. I grab the envelope. I'm like, hey, 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 what up? Here, take it. Yeah, okay, great. And I slip it through the bars. And then I go, how did I get here? Oh, oh, can you only do it once? Are you stuck in there now? Release him at once. That's the son of the ambassador (laughs) to China. (laughs) What are you doing here, boy? Get out. Get out. And he opens the door for you and tries to grab the um, package from you. You don't ever come along to China. (laughs) I'll have words for you. I knew you Chinese could go through walls. They told me that was a specific (laughs) form of racism I had, but I always knew. Good day, sir. I say to you, good day. He's too busy being racist to stop you from leaving with the package. I look at Grandma. I was like, "Oh, okay. So we got the pack. Why? Why did you two? I told you guys to get out of here. Why? Why? Why were you oh, two uh, trying to get thanks, this package? Th- yeah, thanks. This is going to be super useful. Thanks. Mind if I borrow it? Um, sorry. And he takes the package from you. Yeah, you two are strong men. You can hold on to it. Like that's fine. We'll get the next two. The next. Thanks, kid. Yeah. What a specific thing to say. All right. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> I don't know. You're looking for things. We're just going to help you out. I, I told you to get to the lifeboats anyway. I told get you to get here. the lifeboats. Get out of here. You get out of here. You two are going to have a great marriage and it's worth protecting. So leave. Link, stop it. We got to destroy the timeline. Let's no, go. I mean, nothing. I don't shut like up, you guys. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, <laughs> right out of there. Don't die, dads. Just give me a luck roll. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just Dude, it's going to be like that scene in Looper when body parts start disappearing. Oh, God. <laughs> In 18. All right. Everything stays okay. as it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm getting really emotional. I'll stop, I'll stop yelling at my, at my dad. Shut the fuck up. Why I'm talking to you. It. We're running away. We're okay, away okay. from them now. Okay. What's next? You head up to the top deck and you see that it is absolute pandemonium. The ship is beginning to lilt to one side. Chairs, cutlery, furniture is all beginning to list in directions. People are getting crushed underfoot. Has the orchestra started playing yet? The orchestra is playing near my god to thee. Gentlemen, it's just been a privilege. Why are those guys playing music even though the boat's going down? Yeah, why are they playing? It's just like a kind of beautiful metaphor for the poignancy of, you know, Did it actually happen? Yeah, that really happened. Those guys did that. We're here. We're literally here. That's what crazy. do you mean? Did it actually happen? Like, pay attention. That's a crazy story. They should make a movie out of it. <laughs> yes. About the four musicians who played until they got too cold. Do they make a movie about the four of them? <laughs> yeah, Link, they do. They okay. do. They sure do, buddy. Okay. 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 So you got okay. your something what? old. You got your something borrowed. We're looking around for purple stuff on the deck. Please roll a perception. Well, you've got your little spell up, don't you? Like your guiding. Oh, yeah. Don't you have your guiding principles? Oh, is it still active? It is. Which is okay, great. World one on perception. Then you follow, <laughs> you follow your nose, so to speak, and you can hear the sound of a douchey guy saying, "Please, please, let me aboard. She's all I have in the world." Oh, and no. you see. <laughs> wait, wait, sorry. The line is, "I'm all she has in the world." Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Please, please, let me aboard. I'm all she has in the world. And you see a man with very intense eyebrows trying to get aboard. Oh <laughs> my god! I have to roll not to fall in love. <laughs> with the guy who's trying to okay, steal a baby. Go ahead. Yeah, the difference between being a girl and being a woman is like. <laughs> <laughs> being into Jack Dawson. When you're a woman, you realize that Billy Zane is where it's at in Titanic. That's the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard. My favorite thing about Billy Zane in Titanic is his ignorance of future historical people. Like when he's like, who's this Freud? One of the passengers? Oh, wait. Pic- Picasso, <laughs> oh. he won't amount to a thing. Beautiful. I just fucking, I love that Actually, shit so Aster much. Actually, it's Aster who says, this Freud, is oh, he, a, board, right. is yeah, he yeah, a passenger? Yeah. Love it. So you can see that he's next to an empty baby carriage. And there's a woman who has a hand still on the the handle (gasps) of the baby carriage who seems to have been trampled, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Is she alive? No, she is dead. Oh, God. (gasps) And Marco and Grant come out and they don't see what's going on. They're looking around for something purple, but you've seen it before they did. What's the the purple purple thing? What's the purple thing? The baby that he is holding is purple. The baby is? The baby is purple. Wait, is it like, okay. No, it's is glowing it, purple. It's okay, not, it's not like it's a magically Thanos glowing baby. a purple glow. It is not literally like a purple baby. It's, it's like in a video purple. game with highlighted Will. It's not, okay, it's not yeah. Thanos it's baby. It's not Grimace <laughs> getting the blow in. Grimace is on the Titanic. Oh, no. Milkshake right ahead. <laughs> Dude, that's got to be one on TikTok, right? Uh, like a big Grimace shake sinks the Titanic? That's, that's pretty like good. four months that's ago on TikTok. Pretty well. out there, my man. So Billy Zane is trying to get aboard the lifeboat. What are you going to do? I'm screaming, that man stole that baby. That's a Chinese baby. That's our baby. That's our Chinese baby. That's 
Chinese baby. <laughs> roll persuasion. Step aside. Step aside. <laughs> you can tell the baby is not Chinese, first of all. Secondly, roll persuasion. But can they tell? <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. There is a thing. That people think babies are 12 Chinese. plus 1, 13. <laughs> what thing? What, what thing? There's what? a thing where it's like every Asian baby is born with a big old blue spot. You know about this? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, where? yeah. On their body. Okay. It's just a weird Mongolian, like, uh -huh. blue spot thing. And so, you know, this baby's glowing purple, you know? Who knows? I could use it, but it doesn't matter. Because I rolled a 13. Okay. So with a 13, they go, ho, 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 you stole that baby? And he goes, no, of course not. This is my child. Her, his, his name is <laughs> Lewis. And they go... <laughs> You named that baby Lewis? Uh, I'm afraid you're going to have to prove that that baby was stolen, kids, because he's a grown man and you're children. Can I do sleight of hand and I want to draw a blue dot on the baby? <laughs> okay. So that then Taylor <laughs> can tell them about this fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roll sleight of hand. <laughs> Got a 14. <laughs> Uh, you draw a blue circle onto it, and immediately Billy Zane looks oh down and goes, ooh, God. an Asian baby, I would rather drown. And he hands you the baby back, and he gets back aboard the ship. That's and right, wipes his sir. Hands. Dermal melanocytosis, formerly uh, called Mongolian blue spots, as you may know them, are the hallmark of Asian babies, such as this one, who belongs to my father, the ambassador <laughs> to China. So Grant and Marco come up, and they see that the baby's glowing, and they go, What's what's going on? Who, who's whose kid is that? Mine. Okay. <laughs> my no, dad. No, it's not. My brother. Here, give it to them, and then they can go on the boat. Yes, sir. This baby, the only thing it has left in the world is these two fine gentlemen. We're friends. One of whom is Asian. <laughs> We're friends. Yeah. And one of us is Asian. <laughs> yeah. So can you let them on the boat, sirs? We're that's four kids. We'll give that's up. That's me our... and Matt at every coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. One of us is Asian. We won't tell you which one. <laughs> one of us tells the truth and one of us only lies. <laughs> so he goes, fine. Yeah, sure. Get aboard the boat, I guess, the two of you. And he goes, and, and my, my friends, these kids here, they're all with me. They're all my kids, Grant says. All of them. Come on. Come aboard, kids. Wow. You do that for okay. us, mister? Wow. Yeah. Can we hop on? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, Wait, you're really? all children. Yeah, we're on. Okay. Wait. Can we save any of these people before we get on or is it too late, guys? You tell me. Anthony, give me one minute on the clock to see if I can find a spell that I have that will stop the Titanic from sinking, please. <laughs> Come on, normal. All right. Timer. Uh, one minute. Go. <laughs> okay. Guidance. Light. Resistance. Sacred flame. Spare the dying. Spare the dying. <gasps> oh, wow. No, that's not going to work. just like a warmth spell? You know warm. what I mean? Like, yeah. keep people warm. Healing world. In heal <gasps> can, you, can you put food. them all to a new plane? That way it doesn't mess up the history because they all <gasps> did disappear, but they're all alive somewhere else. Just like MH370. Ah, uh, yes, the great Mr. the Titanic. Where did those people go to? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I guess uh, they didn't find the bodies. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. Okay, 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 okay. I've got okay. it. I've got it. I'm going to cast... Water walk. Okay. For one hour, the spell grants the ability to move across any liquid surface. Up to 10 willing creatures can see within range, gain this ability for the duration. But which 10 normal? Which Wait. 10? <laughs> oh my God. I will. Oh, no. You, no. you can still see the, the dogs no, are doggy paddling the in the That's forest saying, and they're beginning saying, to get colder. Here's the choice. You can save all the dogs or all 1,600 people, Will. Who do I you choose? I would the 1,600 people. I don't fucking, yeah. It's only for 10 people. 10 people. Well, we'll see. How, I need to see how many dogs. Levels. 10 Hold people on. or all the dogs. I can live with you saving 10 people, Normal. That's something. <laughs> that's, that's something. That's something. You know, Normal, they say that's more this than boat seen. is cursed. They say that aboard it, there was this Egyptian mummy princess that what? was like stowed away and that that's why the Titanic sang. Whoa. Is that real? Maybe. <laughs> I am going to cast Water Walk. It's casting time is one action and it's a third level spell slot. Now I have three third level spell slots, three fourth level spell slots, two fifth and one sixth. So I can save 90 people. Wow. Because I dump all my spell slots, that'll do it, I believe. But you can't save the musicians because you said they died and they make a movie about them, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure normal that we're sticking no, to. No, that's true. That okay. would blow up the timeline. I You're feel right. bad for them. I can't look at okay. them anymore. I okay. see them playing so heroic. <laughs> okay. Well, I can only do people that I can see, right? Okay. So there's like what? There's a throng of people in front of the boat. <laughs> and the dogs you can see, but doggy battling through the water. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. The people can pick up the dogs. <laughs> I, oh, one of the dogs is getting really tired. 
Oh, she has God. a head going below the water, Will. Oh, <laughs> my God. Normal is going to cast. Here's the fucked up thing I'm thinking in my head. Uh-huh. Do I cast it on the biggest people, like the biggest guys, mm-hmm. so they can hold other people, mm-hmm. right? Big boy representation. Love just, it. Just, <laughs> <laughs> all the beefiest boys <laughs> line up. <laughs> Normal shots. All the beefy boys to the front. So we flash forward 100 years, and it turns out beefy boys have now been naturally selected for us. So everybody's just like... 30 pounds of beef here. Wow. All right. I cast I cast in order of beefiness and tell people, you can walk on water now. Hold up the other people. People are confused. They're crying. They're trying their best. Some people are managing to climb up into the arms of the beefiest boys, the guys who are probably down in the, um, the hold, shoveling coal and stuff. Just like they held up the economy. You know, they, they really, America was what it was because of the work of these workers. Standing union strong together. They do only have an hour, so they got rescued within well, got an hour, boats, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yep. Uh, right, 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 right. right. There weren't enough beefy boys. Not enough by half. half. <laughs> Not the better half. There's a beefy boy with five shivering dogs on him, and everyone oh immediately my God. falls in love with him. No. Yeah, after the Titanic, they made sure that you had to at least have 200 beefy boys on every ship. <laughs> <laughs> Scary's like, don't worry, I got the rest of them. And she touches the ship and casts remove curse and nothing happens and that's how you find out that the Egyptian mummy was just a myth. It wasn't actually cursed. The Titanic just hit an iceberg and sank. There wasn't a mystical reason for it. It will be several hours before the ship arrives to save these people. That's fine. An hour of not being in the water is going to help. Yeah, it will help. It will help. God, what a story though. As the lifeboat descends to the water with all of you in it, you overhear Marco and Grant having a conversation where Grant's like, this poor kid, he's got nobody. And Marco says, <gasps> yeah, this, poor, this poor kid, I don't, we got to keep him warm. Stay close to me. Let's keep him warm. And they huddle close together to each other and they cuddle this kid. Link looks at the three. Link roll perception. Oh no. Uh, 17. Okay, so with a 17, Scam <laughs> likely appears as a ghost that- <laughs> and he embraces his eyebrows and he points at you and then he points Scam? at the baby and then he points back at you and he points at the baby. Is that, is that, I, I'm an Asian baby. <laughs> no, no, no. Link looks down and realizes there's been a blue spot on his own butt for Wait, years that he himself painted there. Wait, I was, I look at Scam, that's, that's me? He turns to Grant and Marco and he goes, happy anniversary. I, you guys saw that you were having a bad time. And so I decided Wait. to fix your marriage. Hooray. And Grant's like, what? I didn't actually need the something, all the borrowed blue, old, any of that stuff. I just wanted you to find each other. What? Classic scam. <laughs> and he goes, it sounded like you were having second thoughts. And I wanted you to remember how important you are to each other. Remember, you thought you were going to die, and the first thought was to deep dick your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I told you guys. I said that. <laughs> See, you didn't believe me, but they did. I believed that they were having sex. <laughs> okay. Marco kisses Grant really deeply, and Grant kisses him back, and he goes, I'm sorry I was so scared. I was just really scared of, of living a life with you as much as I was without you, because I don't know if I can, I just don't know. And Marco just shuts him up and goes, it's it's fine. It's okay. We, we're going to be okay together because you've got my back and I've got your back. And now both of us are going to have this, if you're okay with it, I think we're going to have this kid's back. And the four of us are always going to have your back too. Hey, can you two keep it down? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Greg gets a distant look in his eyes as he sees, other than the people trying to crawl onto the burly boys, a lot of people <laughs> drowning and dying in the water. Oh, God. Molly Brown would be so pissed if this many people actually survived the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, she loses they'd her They'd be all writing riz. books, too. Yeah, and they, they would literally be unsinkable. Yeah. Yeah, she's just okay Molly Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Grant says, with Scam Likely and the Doodler and all these people dying around me, and I just, I just want to make sure that he doesn't have to deal with any of this shit. I just, no kid deserves to live through the bullshit that we're living. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, I can't say anything, right? You can, but maybe just like, just don't just, fucking, just be cool for him. Okay. Cool about you it. You can say something cool to him. Just don't tell him you're his son, you know? But if you got something to say to him, you know, say it, dude. Oh, hey, you two gentlemen, I'm sure, I'm sure that baby's going to be really happy to have you as, as their dad. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> hey guys, let's just, uh, let's just close our eyes and ears because there's a lot of dying going on around us. <laughs> I don't want, I'm just a little scared. Yeah, Link kind of like Wait, tries to like, look away from the Just what? one more, I mean, do you have anything? You want to say to like your baby self? No, no, dude. That's the first lesson of all this. Like, don't do anything. What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm say pretty happy with the way. Don't mind. Well, I I'm go pretty up to happy the baby. with. No, don't tell me anything. I, okay, yes, yeah, sure. I, I go to the baby and I whisper to the baby. I say, "Hey, baby Link," and I stroke his cheek and I say, "It's gonna be all right." 
and then Grant and Marco both embrace you and they hold you as the Titanic sinks behind you. <laughs> and <laughs> as, as more Kate than 1,500 <laughs> people die in the single deadliest sinking of a single ship up to that time happens around us. But that's love, right? Yeah. <laughs> and the 700 people in the boats wait to die, wait to live, wait for an absolution that will never come. All our days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. Used to tell myself it'll be alright, pretty lies let me sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself, and I know I'll get this right. It's just a matter of time till we make it out alive. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow, make steel and bow, break where we can't change. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. I don't need Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson. Anthony Birch is our DM. Will Campos is Normal Oak. Beth May is Scary Marlowe. And myself, Freddie Wong, is Taylor Swift. Theme song is On My Way by Max and Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer. Ashley Nicola is our community manager. Courtney Terry is our community coordinator. Esther Els is our lead editor. Travis Reeves provides additional editing. And Raman Rapp is our transcriber. This podcast is directly supported by our Patreon. Our Patreon is full of people with names like Teresa Alexa. Cuddleism is a religious belief about being sincerely held. Lauren Donahue, Abu Waifu, Eric Bateman, Nicholas Olson, Leah, Xander Bryce, Brett Peterson, Operandi, MJ Damson, Kellen Holbrook, Carson, Jason Bingham, Christopher Burgess, Karsten Lisbjerg Mogensen, Emil Gronbach, Bryce McSherry, Panda Blackstar, and Daniel Hidalgo. Episode 1 of Dad of the Christie is now available, with episode 2 coming out later on this week. This three part murder mystery miniseries with special guest Amanda Shuckman, who you may remember from Sons of Sensibility, as well as Riley Rose Critchlow, who does Real Housewives of DD and also uh, is the lead detective in Anime Crimes Division. And Elise Williams, who has also appeared on this season as well as on Funhouse, is starting to come out now. This miniseries is a total blast and you can get it as well as all of our other standalone miniseries at patreon.com slash Dungeons and Dads. You can also buy digital downloads of our bonus miniseries on that Patreon as well. But if you're a patron, you always just, you just get it. You get that as well as ongoing content, ad-free episodes as well as access to tons of bonuses. But, you know, if you don't like subscribing to things, you can just buy these now. It's an option. It always was an option. This past month, our monthly bonus for our mid-tier subscribers was a video where we introduced you to everyone's pets it was a pet video who has the best pet it's me but you can watch the video to verify that do your own research at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads our twitter is dungeons and dads our website is dungeons and dads.com our merch is at store.dungeons and dads.com our subreddit is dungeons and dads our next episode is coming out october 10th we will see you then we got a pick Yes, I do have sneak with okay. animals. Sneak with animals? Sneak with animals. Oh That's a pretty good one. That's like Shaggy has that when he and Scooby yeah. are tiptoeing around. <laughs>